Bestbookbits.com presents The Code of the Extraordinary Mind, 10 Laws to Enhance Happiness, Mindfulness and Influence by Vishni Lakiani. From money to happiness, time management to personal potential, the accepted rules of success are woefully out of date. Vishen Lakiani, founder and CEO of MindValley.com, has a solution, a revolutionary new method called conscious engineering that upgrades your beliefs and shows you how to create new habits for a better approach to work, love, money, health, and life. He offers valuable tools for how to take life off of autopilot and make happiness facing choices. Blending evolutionary biology, computation, the book provides a new framework for understanding and enhancing the human self. The written and audio summary can be found on our website, bestbookbits.com. So without further ado, I bring you the book summary of The Code of the Extraordinary Mind. He opens up the book by describing four levels of development, and within them, there are 10 laws for an extraordinary life. Living in the culture scape, the world around you, the awakening, the world you choose, recoding yourself, the world inside you, and becoming extraordinary, the world you can change. This is not a personal growth book, it's a personal disruption book. As Vishen himself put it, you're forced to rethink the aspects of your life that you've been running on autopilot for years and find yourself rescripting your own reality. Level 1, living in the culture scape. The world we live in is filled with conflicting beliefs, ideas and laws about how we're supposed to eat, how to work and how to love. However, these rules are all past their expiration date. This is called culturescape, the society into which you were born in, and that has programmed you to have certain values and doctrines. This is where 80% of the world is in without ever questioning what they're doing. They're simply following certain age-old traditions that don't have any reasoning in the modern world. Level 1. Transcend the culture scape. Extraordinary minds are good at seeing culture scape and are able to selectively choose the rules and conditions to follow versus those who question and ignore. Therefore, they tend to take the path left traveled and innovate on the idea of what it means to truly live. The rules of society aren't absolutely truths. The rules of society aren't absolute truths, but more like constructs and shoulds, which were, as Steve Jobs put it, made up of people no smarter than you. Realize that you are not your culture and that you don't have to follow what you've been conditioned to believe in because the world is not the same place it was even just a decade ago. Law 2. Question the brules. Extraordinary minds question the brules when they feel those brules are out of alignment with their dreams and desires. They recognize that much of the way the world works is due to people blindly following brules that have long passed their expiration date. Which brings us to a new word that Vishen Lakiani invented, or consciously engineered. Brule, a noun, a bullshit rule that we adopt to simplify our understanding of the world. I just love this word because it's disruptive and something we can use to identify the bottlenecks of culture and society. It's time you start questioning everything that you call life and start bending reality according to your own will. Level 2, The Awakening. Once you can see the culture scape as something external, you will begin to see things differently. Instead of following the status quo, you'll create your own rules. And law three, practice conscious engineering. Extraordinary minds understand that their growth depends on two things, their models of reality and their systems for living. They carefully curate the most empowering models and systems and frequently update themselves. This is what Vishnan calls conscious engineering, which is an operating system for the human mind, your mental programming. It boils down to two things, your models of reality, your beliefs that literally shape the world you think you live in. For instance, in the 20th century, it was believed that man was physically incapable of running a mile under four minutes until Roger Bannister overcome this limiting belief. Now even college kids do it routinely. Your systems for living, your habits, the keys to recognize the outdated ways of exercising, loving, parenting, and working and replacing them with optimal ones. How we grow, new models of reality, growth through belief change, new systems for living, growth through habit upgrade. The problem is that our models of reality lie beneath the surface and we tend to be unaware of them. That's why it's so important to develop meta-awareness so you could see the culture scape and your own beliefs. Law 4, rewire your models of reality. Extraordinary minds have models of reality that empower them to feel good about themselves and powerful in shifting the world to match the visions in their minds. There are two questions you can use to rewire your models of reality. 
Is my model a reality absolute or relative truth? Does this mean what I think it means? And law five, upgrade your systems for living. Extraordinary minds consistently spend time discovering, upgrading, and measuring new systems for living applied to life, work, heart, and soul. They are in perpetual state of growth and self-innovation. This means constantly evaluating your own behavior, habits, and activities while making optimal changes and new adaptations. Level three, recoding yourself. Once you attain freedom from the rules that you're holding you down, your growth will accelerate exponentially. Law six, bend reality. Extraordinary minds are able to bend reality. They have bold and exciting visions for the future, yet their happiness is not tied to these visions. They are happy in the now. This balance allows them to move towards their visions at a much faster rate while having a ton of fun along the way. To outsiders, they seem lucky. Bending reality is about operating in a state where you feel that everything in life is bending in the direction of your choosing. Everything just seems to click. But a wise man once said, with great power comes great responsibility. You have a bold vision and a massive goal for the future, yet you're happy in the now. Here's something to think about. If you can choose any model of reality you want and accept it as true, why not choose a model that suggests that you can literally bend reality to your wishes? Law 7. Live in Blissfulin. Extraordinary minds understand that happiness comes from within. They begin with happiness in the now and use it as fuel to drive all their other visions and intentions for themselves and the world. Which brings us to yet another awesome word, Blissfulin. The discipline of daily bliss. Vision points out three distinct types of happiness. Happiness from special and unique experiences. Happiness from growth and awakening. Happiness from meaning. The path to blissfulness. Three systems for advancing your happiness levels. The power of gratitude. There are many scientific proven benefits to gratitude. More energy, less depression, better sleep, more connection, etc. You should spend some time over the things you're grateful for in your personal and work life. Forgive to the people who bid you wrong in the past. Be greater than your rules. The practice of giving. The Dalai Lama once said, to be happy, make others happy. And Vision said, be merciless with your kindness, just ruthless. Law 8. Create a vision for your future. Extraordinary minds create a vision for their future that is decidedly their own and free from expectations of the culture scape. Their vision is focused on end goals that strike a direct chord with their happiness. You need to distinguish means goals from ends goals. Means goals usually have a so in them. Get a good GPA, so you could get a good job, a nice house, etc. Means goals are often about meeting or conforming to rules. It is yet another thing you should accomplish. End goals are about following your heart. Pursuing them gives you more joy and energy instead of drains for you from them. End goals are often feelings that make you feel happy and in love as you're pursuing them. The three most important questions. What experiences do you want to have in this lifetime? Relationships, friendships, adventures, environment. How do you want to grow? Health and fitness, intellectual life, skills, spiritual life. How do you want to contribute? Career, creative life, family, community. Level four, becoming extraordinary. This is the place where you can change the world with your magnificence because you're just extraordinary. Level one is the world around you, living in the culture scape. Level two, the world you choose, the awakening. Level three, the world inside you, recoding yourself. And level four, the world you can change, becoming extraordinary. Four layers of development, law nine, Unfuckable with able. Extraordinary minds do not need to seek validation from outside opinion or through the attainment of goals. Instead, they are truly at peace with themselves and the world around them. They live fearlessly, immune to criticism or praise, and fueled by their own inner happiness and self love. I mean, Vision is a computer engineer, but he just wants to keep coming up with these amazing words and phrases. There's some fine examples of bending reality. Unfuckable with able. When you're truly at peace and in touch with yourself, nothing anyone says or does bothers you and no negativity can touch you. There are three components to becoming unfuckable with able. Self-fueled goals. They're end goals you have absolute control over. They're not based on any object or person. 
For example, I'm always surrounded by love. I will always have the most amazing and beautiful human experiences. I will always be learning and growing. Realizing you are enough. You have to become immune to both praise and criticism. Don't let the words of others disempower you. Law 10. Embraced your quest. Extraordinary minds are motivated by a quest or calling, a drive to create some positive change in the world. This drive propels them forward in life and helps them to gain meaning and make a meaningful contribution. What the most extraordinary people have in common is, the most extraordinary people in the world do not have careers. What they have is a calling. Elon Musk doesn't want to make mankind an interplanetary species just to get richer. That's not why Peter Diamantes or Arena Huffington do what they do either. They do what they do because it's important for their life and gives them meaning. Extraordinary people prophesize the godical theory. Extraordinary people feel a unique connectedness and kingship to all life. Extraordinary people are open to intuitive insights they attain through this connection. Extraordinary people allow their intuition to lead them to a vision that pulls them forward. As extraordinary people serve this calling, the universe blesses them with luck. There are even some rules about discovering your quest. Rule 1, you have to be an entrepreneur. Rule 2, you have to follow a career. Questions to discover your quest. Recall a time when you experienced heaven on earth. What was happening? Imagine you have a magic wand and with it you can create heaven on earth. What is heaven on earth for you? What simple, easy, concrete steps you take in the next 24 hours to make heaven on earth real? Because at the end of the day, it's all about having a higher purpose and taking action towards it while still being happy in the present. Become extraordinary. In its core, your quest requires you to stay consistent and persistent. You won't just quit because there's a grander vision pulling you towards it. Realize it won't happen overnight and it's about living an extraordinary life in your every moment. Failures and setbacks are not durable, just feedback. Peter Tocamenta said, if you have one superpower, it would be persistence. And Elon Musk said, I have a higher tolerance for pain. So wherever you are, strip yourself free from the rules that are bottlenecking your success so that you could start consciously engineering your models of reality and bend reality to follow your quest. And that's a wrap on the code of the extraordinary mind. Subscribe to the channel and take a look at the hundreds of book summaries uploaded previously. To find hundreds of written summaries, check out our website, bestbookbits.com. And for hundreds of audio podcast summaries, find us on mixcloud.com forward slash bestbookbits. If you like reading and want to get involved in sharing knowledge and spreading great book summaries, connect with myself by emailing info at bestbookbits.com to join us. Thanks for watching and listening and have yourself an amazing day. Take care and develop that code of the extraordinary mind.